The main players in the north of England during the English Civil War were the Royalist William Cavendish and the Parliamentarian Sir Thomas Fairfax. By early December 1643, Cavendish had control of York, with Sir Thomas and his father Lord Fairfax stationed at Tadcaster. Cavendish attacked Tadcaster and drove the Fairfaxes back to Selby, and took Pontefract. Meanwhile, another royalist, named Sir William Savile, took Leeds and Wakefield, although was beaten back decisively by peasants and volunteers when he tried to take Bradford. Sir Thomas Fairfax then made a daring night march through royalist territory to Bradford. Bradford was a particularly strong area for parliamentarian support, as was most of the West Riding, mainly because the majority of people were Protestants who despised Charles I's Catholic wife and his increasing Catholic lifestyle. As such, Fairfax found no difficulty in finding recruits and volunteers for his army when he arrived there in early January. Savile, meanwhile, started making defensive preparations. Here, at St John's, the oldest church in Leeds, his army dug a six-foot deep trench all the way down to the River Eyre. Fairfax split his force into two, sending around a thousand men from Bradford to Hunslet to attack Brigitte from the bridge over the River Eyre, whilst the rest, around 2,000 men, approached via Appley Bridge and Cookridge onto Woodhouse Moor. When Fairfax arrived here at Woodhouse Moor, he sent a messenger to Savile demanding that he surrendered. Savile refused. At around 1pm, in the middle of a snowstorm in what is modern-day Brigitte, the battle started. Fairfax himself led the assault from the hedgerow, whilst the rest of his force attacked from the bridge over the river. After hours of bitter, bloody fighting, the day was his. He drove the Royalists back to Wakefield, where they surrendered and promised that they'd never take up arms against Parliament again. All in all, 500 prisoners were taken and about 40 men died on each side, which is remarkably a low number for this time. After this, the Royalists fell back to York and Fairfax recaptured Wakefield and Pontefract. But soon after, he'd be defeated by Cavendish at the Battle of Adwalton Moor in Bradford, but that's for another video. In February 1646, Charles I was now a prisoner and on his way up north, he stayed overnight here in Leeds. He stayed in a building called the Red Hall and although it's not here anymore, there still is one reminder that the king was here. 